Hi, I am Dr. Arjit Banerjee and today I am here to make you aware about the post-COVID heart disease and its causes, symptoms and what you can do without being panicked. First of all, if you had COVID-19 in last two years and if you are just recovered from COVID, there might be a very less chance of post-COVID heart damage or any heart problems. But there are some common symptoms that you need to know to prevent any further heart problems if you suffered from COVID-19. Now the first question comes is why? As we know that uh, COVID is a respiratory disease, right? That is, it affects mostly on our lungs. Then why I am or other doctors are talking about the heart problems? Because the cells in the heart have angiotensin converting enzyme 2 or ACE2 receptors where the coronavirus attacks before entering cells. Heart damage can also be due to the high levels of inflammation circulating in the body. As the body's immune system fights off the virus, the inflammatory process can damage some healthy tissues including the heart. Along with this, the virus and our immune response might affect endothelial cells from which the lining of the blood vessels are made of. Right? So there might be a chance of heart damage. The next uh, thing that comes to our mind is that what are the signs? How do I know that I have uh, developed a heart problem after COVID-19? There might be a variety of symptoms in this regard reported after COVID infection, but mostly symptoms come from a common post-COVID condition known as POTS, P-O-T-S, Postural Orthostatic Trachycardia Syndrome. So what is POTS? Postural Orthostatic Trachycardia Syndrome or POTS is a disorder in which most of our blood stays in our lower body when we stand up and in response our heart rate jumps. That means increase in heart rate or feeling of palpitation. So postural means change in position, orthostatic means an upright posture that is when we stand up and trachycardia means increase in heart rate. It doesn't always happen immediately. It can sometimes take as long as 10 minutes after you stand. Surprisingly, worldwide POTS has been observed frequently in the group of non-hospitalized patients who have or had COVID-19 and in POTS, the common symptoms are increased heart rate, that, that is tachycardia, a fall in blood pressure, that means low BP, followed by dizziness, fatigue, palpitation, lightheadedness, brain fog and other symptoms. So now why this happen? The autonomous nervous system is a part of our nervous system that regulates the heart rate, blood pressure and breathing pattern. Scientists have found that after COVID infection, our faulty immune system response that means our immunity mistakenly attacks our body's own tissue, especially our autonomous nervous system and all of these things happen. So if your doctor who are not familiar with POTS may dismiss the symptoms as lingering effects of COVID-19 or even psychological symptoms. Some evidence suggests that in few cases, scarring and inflammation of the heart muscle and its uh, surrounding tissue that is pericardium has been found. But if you have any previous heart problems along with ECG changes, or constant chest pain or if you feel worse when lying down worse on uh, exhaustion or shortness of breath accompanied by fatigue or ankle swelling don't wait consult your cardiologist as early as possible your doctor might ask for a blood test to check a substance called troponin in your blood as elevated troponin levels are a sign of damaged heart tissue but this is less commonly seen after COVID-19 so don't get panic. Make your body hydrated by drinking plenty of water along with this dietary modifications like taking vitamins and omega-3 supplementation and following medications prescribed by your doctor will make you fit and fine in few weeks. Uh, again one advice that I strongly recommend is uh, don't jump to your daily hectic life or extreme activity just after recovering from COVID. Give yourself two to three months by doing use or non-hectic activity and this way you can help your heart to recover from COVID. Now uh, if you find this video helpful share with others like comment and subscribe the channel to get this kind of information and medical tips. See you in the next video till then take care.